Hi friends, Prophet James here. Today we want to talk about soul ties and the need for deliverance. What does that mean? The Bible writes that the two shall become one as it relates to marriage. Now, that same principle applies throughout mankind and the land. The two shall become one. Now, we have always put that verse in the marriage covenant, and it should be, amen? But God warns us about the works of the flesh through fornication and through all types of evil deeds or sexual immorality that when you get involved with those type of things, sex outside of marriage, you become one with the person you engage with in those activities. Now, case in point, if you were a person of pleasant character, let's say, and then you get involved with somebody who has a temper or something like that, those traits or those devils are transferred into you because that's how they transfer. They don't transfer by eating a sandwich. They have to get in through a certain way. This is why hell makes a human being sexual over being. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Because the devils know that they have to get an entry point. And what better way to get into another person than by sexual means? Now, this is why when people get married and they have not been delivered from Larry, Curly, Moe, and Jack, that they bring Larry, Curly, Moe, and Jack into a union and that's why there's problems sometimes in the house. Same is true for the man, not exempt. He brings in Susie, Kelly, Misty, all the above into the marriage. And now he's trying to be married to uh, his new wife, but he has four other wives following him around. Four pieces of somebody that he never got delivered from. And this is why certain people get in trouble with certain acts in the future, because they're still tied to a person they never cut ties with. God warns us strictly warns us about those types of activities and the need for deliverance. Now, how do you get free? You have to renounce Curly, Larry, Moe, and Jack. You have to renounce Kelly, Sue, Barbara, whomever, and say, God, make me a whole person for my mates without any attachments across the land. It was a game back then because we didn't know. But now that we have understanding, we have to break these things off so we can be free and total to the one we say, I do too. This is Prophet James signing off for the day. Remember, you can be free from any soul tie as long as you renounce it and decree the blessing of God upon your life. Have a great day.